everyone, Francine here. Today I want to show you how to create a simple but colorful background using only one sentiment. So I chose the Wish sentiment from the newest Make-A-Wish stamp set from Create a Smile. First I started by making self-made stencils. I punched three holes through acetate. I only used the openings and not the punched circles. Then I cut a piece of white cardstock that I fixed to my cutting mat with some tape. Next I placed the stencil on top of my panel and I started to blend my first color over the mask. For this project I used dye inks from Simon Say Stamp. I always worked from the outside of the circle to the inside uh, in circle motions and I applied many layers to create this transparent look. This is very important so if you want to give it a try don't add too much ink. By the way this is a color combination I got from Laura Basson. She shared a video in an online car class with a similar technique using these colors and I immediately fell in love. I think she used six shades but I added pink to this combination. So I used seven colors for this project. Don't forget to visit my blog at the end of the video. There is a list of all supplies I used to create this card. The next step was to make a purple bubble. I have many purple inks but no one was exactly how I expected. As you can see I cleaned the stencil after I had applied each color. But for that step I did the opposite and I added color to the stencil around the opening. I first applied island blue around the window and then I went over the stencil with pink. And look what happened, I got the perfect purple shade. It's a mix between two colors I used for my project so it matched perfectly with the other colors. I made two more bubbles, one in pink doll and the last one in orange peel. I worked on the diagonal from one corner to the other. Once I finished the background I decided to heat emboss the sentiment with silver embossing powder. I chose silver embossing powder um, instead of black ink because it adds more shine and it changes a little bit. I stamped the sentiment with Versamark and I heat embossed it with my heat gun. And the little trick if the embossing is not perfect is to remove carefully the excess with a cutter. Finally I glued the panel to a white card base. You can see it looks like a one layer card but I prefer doing it in two steps because when you heat emboss cardstock it's never flat and in this way it becomes flat again. It's the end of the video. I hope you got inspired and thanks for watching. Thank you.